This is Bill Cassidy, Senior Editor of the Journal of Commerce, and I'm here at the NASTRAC 2012 convention in Orlando speaking with Brad Rowland, who's the Director of Saddle Creek. Brad's going to tell us a bit about a CNG tractor that Saddle Creek has on exhibit here and how the company is using CNG. Brad, thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Bill. Just want to run you through a CNG tractor. Let's start back here in the back. Uh, first thing here is a perforated mud flap. This mud flap has holes in it, which allows wind to run through it, but also when it's raining, it disperses the water straight into the ground, as opposed to shooting it out onto the uh, car next to you. We also have wheel covers on these tires, and the wheel covers allow the wind to pass by, so you get some improved MPG there. But they also have these LCD lights, and these lights are hooked into the tire pressure of the tire. So if the tire isn't properly inflated, they light up. It allows the drivers to see them, also allows other employees to see if the tires are properly inflated. Could that equipment be installed on your other tractors as well? Absolutely. You can put the wheel covers or the mud flaps on, on other tractors. Great. So let's go up in here into the actual press natural gas portion of the tractor. What we have is two standard 40 DGE tanks, and they're inside these shells. It's down there, okay. We've got one on this side and then the other one on the other side of the tractor. And then we have two 25 gallon tanks that are inside this cabinet. Two, two black cylinders in there, 25 gallons a piece. So we got a total of 130 DGEs on this tractor. So 5.5 MPGs, we can go well over 500, 550 miles, which is how, how much we need to go out of Lakeland so that we can get down to Miami and up to Jacksonville and back. Where are you using these tractors, basically, on that kind of run, Lakeville? Yeah, to... yeah, Lakeland down to Miami, uh, some of the other points in South Florida, then up to Jacksonville or other points in northern Florida, and then all throughout the I-4 corridor to Tampa and Orlando and, and points in between. Okay, how many do you have in service now? We've got 40 running out of the Lakeland campus, and uh, we partnered with Clean Energy to build the filling station in Lakeland, and that infrastructure is for 120 tractors. So 40 now and 40 possibly later in the year and another 40 after that. All right. So let's take you through how a driver would actually fill this up. This, uh, this compartment and the cabs is, um, we partnered with Agility to put this on. And what the driver does is he pulls up to the filling station. There's a no nozzle off there. Uh, takes the hose, clamps it on there, and uh, starts the process. And it takes about 9 or 10 minutes to fill up the tractor. So we actually get a time savings there versus filling up a, a full diesel tractor. So once we get up to 3600 PSI and we're full and the driver's on his way. So when we okay. take a look at um, the engine real quick. What's the make of the tractor by the way? The tractor is a Freightliner M2. It's built up in Mount Olive, North Carolina. And then Agility is based in Anniston, Alabama, and they installed the tanks there and sent it down to the Freightliner in Tampa. So the tractor, uh, the engine here is a Cummings 9 liter engine. It has spark plugs on it, which is different than a diesel engine. And so the fuel comes in and runs through the spark plugs and, and down into the engine uh, to create the power. You'll notice here on the engine, there's not the air regeneration systems on top that you'd see on a typical diesel right. engine, because there's nearly zero emissions. So the, the uh, exhaust goes through the muffler out the back, and it, it spits out just water vapor. Mm -hmm. What kind of power does the engine generate? Uh, there, there's plenty of power compared to a normal hey, diesel hey. engine. We, uh, we run up to 49,000 pounds with this tractor. And so that uh, more than services our customers out of Lakeland. So plenty of torque and plenty of speed. And actually, zero to 60, this tractor can outperform a diesel uh, day cap counterpart. Well, what, what type of freight are you typically hauling with it? We're typically hauling, uh, the, the freight out of our campus is anything from beverage products, uh, pasta, uh, rice, uh, some retail product out of there, uh, some uh, alcohol and, and other types of products, you know, fresh baked goods as run. So we run anything from 20,000 pound fresh baked good items to the 49,000 pound beverage items. I want, to, I want to show you inside the cab. Great. 
So this is the, the M2 from Freightliner. It's an automatic transmission, so obviously there's no clutch. Uh, I just want to crank it up because these things are ten times quieter than a diesel. Okay. Much quieter. Right, so it's, it's ten times quieter than a, than a diesel engine. Looks like. You can carry on a conversation right here with the driver if you had to. So the drivers love it. They love the automatic transmission, and you can make retail, you can make deliveries to retail stores in a uh, in an urban environment and get under under some of the noise. Or Okay. Is there much of a learning curve for the drivers when they began to uh, take out the CNG units? Yeah, it's, a, it's about a two or three day training process to inform them on compressed natural gas and, and the benefits of compressed natural gas and how to operate the tractor. And then we put them out on the road for a couple of days. Too. Okay. When you look at the, the energy savings, the fuel savings, what type of difference do you see between this unit and a standard diesel unit you might have? So what we're getting is we're about five and a half miles per gallon. Turn this off for you. Sure. And you know, each tractor is going to save about 100,000 pounds of carbon uh, versus a diesel counterpart. So you have th those fuel savings. Uh, you do use electricity to run the compressors. So you have some savings on uh, the energy of the actual fuel, and you have some increased electricity cost. Uh, natural gas is a more stable fuel than diesel. It's 98% domestic. Uh, it's an it's a alternative fuel that's a substitute for diesel, gas, and propane. Uh, it's also much safer than a diesel tractor. In the event of an accident and one of these tanks were to get punctured, they, uh, the gas just releases up into the atmosphere as opposed to uh, pooling on the ground and, and causing like a hazardous cleanup situation. No danger of fire or explosion. No, no absolutely. In the event of the puncture, it just releases up in, into the air. So, um, you know, we've got 40 of these up and running in Lakeland and uh, servicing our, our customer product. We're running them. We can also run them up to Atlanta and back and looking to get the next 40. Excellent. What do they tend to cost? Uh, they are definitely more expensive than a diesel tractor. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the technology and the add-on that you have to do, uh, they're going to cost um, you know, tens of thousands more than, than a, a diesel tractor. Especially since we, these are one-of-a-kind units, so we had to add the extra 50 gallons of tank, which, which pushed our costs a little higher. Mm -hmm. now, where we offset that is the price of a gallon of CNG is say 225 versus the 408 or 410 of a diesel tractor. So our run cost is less, while our initial investment you know, is more. How about maintenance costs? Yeah, there, there's some you, there's some increased maintenance costs uh, because you have to um, change the oil more often. And currently, we're working with our partners at Freightliner and Cummings to uh, see exactly. How, how those PM intervals uh, need to be. So we're adjusting those to see exactly where we need to get them to. That's great. Are there any federal or state uh, advantages or incentives available too for purchasing these tractors? We did not take any federal or state or local uh, money to make this investment. Uh, this was an investment made by our ownership of over $20 million uh, for the filling station and for the tractors, uh, and that's all without any government funding. Well, that's great. Brad, thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Bill.